Me and one of my reading buddies, Golden, have been working on something really special, and tonight I'm pleased to share it with whoever cares enough to watch. I've been playing a lot of Heal Rev lately, just because it's something a little different, and also quite effective and simple. It doesn't offer the buff potential of a druid, but it heals pretty much on demand, and for large amounts. You do have to work with the positioning of the tablet, but I see this more often as a strength. I can be doing something else while I'm continuing to heal elsewhere. This makes Healing Rev an interesting choice when it comes to filling gaps in groups for certain encounters. I may go into more detail in a full guide at some point, but suffice to say, Heal Rev offers some interesting solutions to the raid encounters. So, one day after playing duo Heal Rev through Veil Guardian and Gorsival, Golden and I tried running the cannons on Sabbatho while also kiting Flag. This meant one of us would swap with the other for kiting duty as needed. Full healing gear meant we were just a little too slow at getting back to the platform in time to cover for each other, but by making a few changes we were able to have the cannon timings line up almost perfectly. Using Berserker trinkets, weapons, and power DPS food combined with Jalus was enough for me to have a little breathing room in case of a poor flame wall spawn, and Golden used something very similar. We tried this with mostly pugs and were able to advance far enough to know our strategy was more than possible. However, finding players willing to try a new, unoptimal method who were also skilled enough to complete Sabbatha in general turned out to be a pretty big struggle. We eventually were able to round up enough folks either willing enough to stay or too lazy to leave, and everyone performed well enough to secure the kill. It was pretty sloppy, but it got the job done. Since our group was nowhere near what anyone would consider to be optimal, I can't really comment on results in terms of DPS and boon up times and such, but this was never really meant to be anything more than a fun alternative strategy to strive for. I will say that if you want to try this for yourself, do yourself a favor and don't use the auto block 25% life trait crystal hibernation. You may find yourself locked down and unable to move at an inopportune time. Unfortunately, when I was recording this run, I forgot to enable the audio, and I don't really have anything else to say, so I'm just going to let the video continue to play and you can see how the run went. If you have any questions about doing this for yourself, feel free to ask me in the comments or in-game. 